Grade 8 Math, number 2.2c, change scientific notation to standard notation with positive powers of 10. Standard notation is the normal way we write numbers like 7,500. Scientific notation is the short way of writing very large or very small numbers like 7,500 would be 7.5 times 10 to the third. We move the decimal place over three times. To change between scientific notation and standard notation, we move the decimal point the number of places shown by the exponent in the power of 10. When the exponent is positive, we move the decimal point to the right and add zeros for placeholders if needed. 2.5 times 10 to the fifth becomes a 2 and a 5 and the decimal points in between the 2 and the 5 and we hop 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's where the decimal point's going to go. We fill these empty spaces with zeros and we can see that it's 250,000. The positive exponent 5 tells us to move the decimal 5 hops right. We add the zeros to fill the empty hop spaces. 4.2 written in scientific notation would become 4.2 times 10 to the 0 power. As we learned in the grade 8 math video number 2.1e, a 0 exponent equals 1. If you don't know about that, I would advise you to go back and check out this short little video. It's in this playlist as number 2.1e. 4.2 is already written with one digit in front of the decimal point, so we multiply it by 10 to the 0 as a 1 to keep it the same. See? 8 times 10 to the 4th becomes an 8 with 4 hops. 1, 2, 3, 4. We fill in the zeros and we see we've got 80,000. 5.728 times 10 to the 2nd power becomes 5728 and we hop that decimal point from in between the 5 and the 7. 1, 2 hops and it ends up between the 2 and the 8. So we've got 572.8. The distance from the Earth to the Moon is 3.84 times 10 to the fifth kilometers. Well, the decimal point's in between the 3 and the 8. We're going to move 5 hops. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We fill in the zeros for the empty hop spaces. And we see that it's 384,000 kilometers. See? That's not that hard, is it? So now, in the last video, we went from scientific notation to standard notation. Now we went from standard back to scientific, all right? In our next video, we're going to start talking about the negative powers of 10 and how they affect the scientific notation, okay? If you like the video, please hit the like button so I know I'm helping you. And don't forget, if you want to support me, you can go on to patreon.com. Bye.